from the hex. So really lucky rune spawn. He would have died for sure there. So basically, 10% chance of surviving, the rune needs to spawn bottom and it needs to be a haste. <laughs> or an invis, I guess, so... 20% chance of surviving that. Guess he got lucky. I'll just radio cast meanwhile. So the lanes we've uh, we've got set up right now, we've got 333, like you said, is in the top lane playing the centaur. He's going up against Super on the invoker, and the line of FY has rotated up to the top lane, and now Fenrir is also moving up there. We actually have a pause now, so you get a little lucky there. Uh, so it's going to be a safe lane trial lane for Vici with Io Lion Invoker. In the mid lane it will be Black playing 1-on-1 one -on -one Lycan against... Uh, or, sorry, 1-on-2. On He's playing against a Lich Ember lane. That's going to be really tough for the Lycan. And then bottom, Ice 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 will be playing 1 against 2 as well, against Viper and Skyrath. So, overall, from the way it looks right now, I think LGD off to a better start as far as the laning phase goes. Not really surprising when you have a Lich and they're running this kind of dual lane setup, but... The fact remains, Ice 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 in this bottom lane with, on Elder Titan, I think is going to have a really tough time playing against Skyrath and Viper. Viper's bad enough as it is, but then with the Skyrath on support as well, you're going to have... It's a tall order. Alright, so, um, so far so good for LGD with the lanes. The Viper has 5 CS in the safe lane, and there's 7 on the Ember in the mid, together with the Lich. Lycan yet to get a CS in the mid lane. Black is being completely dominated by this lane matchup, and I think Vici Gaming will be probably looking to solve that problem sometime soon, but for now they're happy to just stand up top with their Io and Lion. They're not even pulling the camp, actually. A little bit surprising for me. I guess Fenrir wants to double stack it since their own ward actually blocked the big camp here. Uh, and he will indeed double stack this, so they can get a pull going pretty soon. Rune is about to spawn one second. Ice is ice checking bottom. He's gonna get the bounty rune. And the top rune is a DD for the Lich. Black tried to deny it with a wolf, but not fast enough. And this is actually going really, really quickly, heavily in LGD's favor. With two minutes in, they've managed to accumulate almost a thousand golden experience from two minutes of laning only. This is a really big issue for Vici, and they just don't have any tools to deal with it right now. Io and Lion, both level 1, are pretty shit on <laughs> support duo, let's be honest. Can't really do that much right now, and especially not against these lanes that, that LGD have set. <laughs> I feel you, I've been there. Uh-oh! Oh, bottom lane. Almost a kill attempted here by the Viper. I'm actually not sure what his nickname is. He's the only one who has Chinese characters in his nickname. I'm not sure if you know who that is. But it is actually going to be a first blood up top. They, what was that? XH, okay. But it's going to be a first blood up top. Vici make something out of nothing, pretty much. Kill, killing off the Centaur here with the Lion Io, as well as Invoker with both Cold Snap and the EMP. Uh, so they'll be grabbing level 2 on both supports, Invoker now up to level 3, and it is indeed going to be Quas Wex, so the only thing that really got changed with Invoker in this patch is that Tornado gives less, vis less vision, but it scales better with Wex. It now deals 3 times Wex in damage instead of 2 times Wex plus, so for, uh, for Wex Invokers that means they do keep deal more damage because you generally max out Wex over Quas, and perhaps that's the reason VGR are trying it here. In addition to that, the mana burn is just extremely good against the Radiant lane -up. A lot of low mana heroes who really depend on it. Uh-oh, Centaur might be getting, getting caught out here again, but the tether from Io, a little bit off, off the target there, actually. They will be getting Cold Snap off. A lot of Io Spirits are going to land as well. Hoofstomp, only kind of thing on Lion. They're going to do a lot of damage here. Super is extremely nimble here with these boots as well as the tether. And that's going to be another kill going the way of Beachy Gaming up here. Super will take this one. And we now have a pause. FY just TC'd. And it looks like you're getting some sort of feed now. Oh. I, I know what it's like. Sometimes, and there's nothing you can do about it, sometimes you just get dealt a bad server. Uh, and you need to retry like four times, and it's just... It's awful. Fortunately, it doesn't happen as often for you as it does for me, I think. So it's... Most of the time, the camera is there, but... No, I think it's just random, but you're good.
Yeah, they, both those kills were in the safe lane, so... What looked to be a pretty bad laning phase for Vici has kind of been solved by finding two kills in the Centaur because they desperately needed those levels on the Ion line. And now with both of them on level 3, they can actually start looking towards Feels ganking fine. other lanes. They're gonna run into Lich, who's hasted right now, though, so I don't think... Oh, never mind, they're gonna run into a pause. Well... Yeah, the the supports would be level one and a half or two, probably level two with a couple of pulls here, but not more than that. And as you see, Black has four CS. I think three, if not all four of those, are actually in the jungle. He didn't get anything in that mid lane, completely zoned out. He got a little bit of experience, and that's pretty much it, so... That was the problem we were talking about in the draft. Vici don't have a solution to a dual lane mid. They they don't have heroes that can go there and deal with this kind of glitch in the third lane. So because of that, I think maybe might have missed one or two CS, and, and that's it. Vifer is also getting great farm in this safe lane. So even with those two kills given up in the off lane, he's still going to be level four on Centaur, and they're still winning the other two lanes clearly. So I still want to say advantage LGD here. I think what they could do is put one of their supports mid, actually, and just get him level 6 that way. And then jungle the Lycan, who can't get farm in the lane, so put a hero like Io mid and just leech experience. Don't get anything else, maybe you can maybe get one or two CS with spirits, and then if they decide to initiate on you, you can probably get away with tether onto the following creep wave if you're in a good position, so... That could be a choice, and it looks like it is indeed what exactly what they're gonna do. I like this choice a lot, it's gonna give Fenrir a faster level 6, and... As far as farm goes, it doesn't make a difference, because Black was out of the lane anyway, so... Him going into jungle is fine. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna look for the rune. This is really bad for Fenrir. He has nothing to jump on. He's gonna need a lot of time to reach a tether here, but... Centaur is not, actually not pursuing here. Yeah, he's gone. Failed again. Be ensnared in fire. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm a little bit curious, you've watched more of this Deck team than I have, I, I don't think I've watched a single game, maybe I've watched like one, but... How do they generally win their games when they beat the top Chinese teams? Is it Dyer's strategy? Is it outplay? Is, is it teamwork? Or a little bit of everything? So they, they haven't generally won their games on just putting really smart lanes and winning the lanes like this so much. Or it's more... Okay. 
Oh, we're gonna see TP top for maybe. Oh, this is big trouble for Vici. They're already gonna lose the lion. Can he catch up to Super as well? Yes, he can. There's no model change. Now there is. Too easy. What the hell? Uh oh. One. Bite him. Bite him. Bite him. <laughs> he keeps living. Oh. <laughs> That ring of regen value right there. I think he would have died without the ring of regen. Oh, that's hilarious. That's not that often you see that. Well, eight minute rune spawning, regen going the way of maybe, and the bounty rune will be grabbed here by Isis Ice, who's level six and a half in the dire offlane with 24 CS. Of course, the lanes haven't been that static. There's been a little bit of movement, but Ice 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 is looking really good by dire elder titan standards here. Uh, the center of the Radiant is also level 6 now, though, and I would say, generally, when these two heroes hit level 6, I would say you get more value out of your center at this point in time. Uh, Elder Titan can get a lot stronger when he hits the... He generally looks for the two-digit levels. When you hit level 10, you'll have Astral Spirit and Natural Order maxed. You'll start getting one or two points in Echo Stomp and start getting Earth Spirit. That's when you really enable the strength of your hero, but right now, I would rather have a center on my team. He's got Stampede. They have some pretty good heroes to go in with the Stampede. Viper can lead the charge. You've got an Ember Spirit who can catch up because of it. It's a good way for Skyrath to keep chasing with the Arcane Bolt. And, of course, in addition to that, Lich will be able to get catch up as well. So, right now, if a fight should break out, I'm definitely favoring C-Deck. They're also ahead by 2,500 gold, might I add. That's a lot. Still looking okay for me. All right, I'll cast this for you, C-Deck. They're gonna grab the rune, maybe with a great play here, escaping the gank and getting the haste rune grabbed here without using it, so. You'll be able to use that in the next fight. So maybe he's going to use the haste for now. He's going to run onto FY, taking a lot of damage here. Great turnaround, Hex and Impale, but FY will be going down here. There's a Chain Frost as well onto Fenrir. Isis Ice will get a turnaround kill on the Skyrath here. Currently two for one for LGD deck, but now Black is coming in. He's got that level eight on his Lycan, starting to hit really hard. They get three kills. He's going to go for more, maybe. We'll be throwing out a Remnant and jumping out here, but at the same time, we've got XT taking a lot of damage here. We'll be forcing away Black, though, and it ends up being a three for three exchange here. Pretty even overall. Two cores surviving for LGD and two cores surviving for Vici. So pretty much, uh, yeah, completely even exchange here. And the graphs show the same now. Blast will be picked up by Black. I think the mech is now available for uh, XT. So that's going to make the next fight very, very different. It was XT, right? Or was it HT or XH? XH. <laughs> okay. So yeah, XH on the Viper. Hmm? <laughs> try to cast try to cast it in two minutes I'll try to remember what happened <laughs> oh yes we have another kill here in mid maybe it's just all over the place with this Ember Spirit right now 3 on 3 he finds a solo kill on the Invoker now they're going to chase even further Stampede being used here diving in on the tier 1 they find Ice 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 lots of slows and tons of damage being dealt here by Ember Spirit Viper and Lich combined and Currently 9 to 5 and maybe getting another kill here. This Ember Spirit, they picked the Lion to try to counter him out. He's pretty much the owner, only counter that they have. And maybe he's currently 4 and 3 with 70 CS at 12 minutes. He is looking really, really good here. And uh, Vici will have to find a solution to this. I don't think... The problem there in this situation is the Lycan won't really do anything to the Ember Spirit. So... Lycan can try to hunt down the other targets, but then he has to deal with the Stampede and the fact that there is quite a bit of lockdown. There's the Stump from the Centaur, there is, of course, the Chains from uh, from maybe on the Ember Spirit, and even the attack speed slow coming out from, uh, from the Viper of XH is going to be a really big deal here, so... 
At the very least, for Vici, they've found their level 6 for FY on the Lion. I was currently level 5, soon to be 6 as well, and maybe that could be a turning point. They have to find and execute some ganks right now. They cannot accept that the Ember Spirit just keeps rolling around and finding one kill, seemingly one kill every second minute so far. The crowd. And they will find a kill. Going in here on the Centaur, they find him with the Hex as well as Finger of Death, combining up with Super's Invoker, but there's a turnaround. He is going to get another Hex off here now on the Lich, but maybe is there once again. FY, bye-bye. He's going to get blown up. Invoker in the meantime, though, did find out the Skywrath. Chain Frost is going to TP of Super, though. Another kill for maybe. He's now 5-0-4. Oh, another kill and another assist going his way. Two for two exchange, even overall, but... Big cooldowns also used Finger of Death as well as Chain Frost are now on cooldown. But again, I feel like every time we have an engage and maybe comes out on top, he's just... This is going to be a very, very fast battle here. He's got Phase, Drums, Bottle, Wand, and 2400 gold in a 13-minute game. This is one of the most farmed Ember Spirits I've seen in a very long time, if not ever. Visibility. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. <sighs> What are you talking about? It's level 7. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. Alright, I'll switch over. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Trickster's rune of illusion. for the dead.
You have learned I well. sword so <laughs> You die by the house of Amri. <laughs> that was a mauling. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 请上天花一波，狼人先来一个，尽力有个零，但是对方有个 V 的减速，狼人应该是果断放弃。我来看。Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. <laughs> Radiant's top tower is under attack. Going for my fall. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Is under attack. I run in a pack.
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. My tribe and you must train harder. Your place. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Die with me. Strike, 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 strike. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. That was toasty. Roshan has fallen to the dire. Gains.
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. of light carry me off wix cross dyer's top tower is under attack Dial structures are fortified. Gold for me. Invisibility! Dial's top tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. My thanks. <laughs> Behold, my searing chains. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Illusion. Gold for me. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Darkness and ignorance Take you all. <laughs> Thanks. A 
lucky find. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Regeneration! Roshan has fallen to the dire. Kill me, revenge! <laughs> the hearth. This wolf will howl again. My bones paved the Lord. <laughs> the dreams. Throne to the wolves. <laughs> Much grace to you. Illusion! Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Frostbitten, twice shy.
Radiant Star Tower has fallen. Even the best of Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant Star Barracks are under attack. Radiant Star Barracks have fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. I die a cold. May your house long record your name. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant structures are fortified. Grace to you. Radiant's middle barracks have fallen. Radiant's middle barracks have fallen. for my food. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Unstoppable. With me. The wicked double kill. Monster triple kill. Avengement is my outside. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Godlike Ultra Kill. It is no dishonor. Radiant's courier has been slain. Dire victory.